There's a code out there that hides behind the Christian faith that uses the Bible in their own little game that manipulates others and these same people claim to be the good guys. They claim to be going after the people that's getting attacked, the people that's getting bullied, but these same exact people are going out there and bullying, attacking, harassing, and threatening others that they claim that they love, that they claim that they're going out. Today, you will see the darkness come to light. Today, everything will get out there. Oh, and to everybody watching, I hope you enjoy this program because everything that you knew will come to light. Now, there's a group out there that disguises themselves as being a Christian when in fact they use it in their own little gain. Even they use the Bible as their own little gain too. Now, I'm going to debunk one biggest thing that this group has, okay? So, this group thinks that the earth is flat, okay? They have it all out. They think the earth is flat. And Derpy Jack, who is in this group, one of the uh, leaders in the group, as far as a Christian side, of it uh, they all think that the earth is flat but I'm gonna debunk that one thing in this one little phrase uh, in the Bible God himself says that the earth is round that the earth is circular if you look at Isaiah 40 22 it says right here that the earth is circular what and also it says in job uh, 26 10 that the earth is circular as well. Now, it says this uh, throughout the Bible, and anybody being a Christian that believes that the earth is flat obviously doesn't read the Bible like they should. And Derby Jack is one of the people that uses the Bible as his own little gain, that uses the Bible as his, uh, well, little, little uh, guinea pig, okay? I mean, they manipulate so many people, and Derpy Jack is one of the people that manipulates more than anyone, because he uses the Bible as his own little gain, and it's sad. It, it really is sad. But what if I told you that this group wasn't actually a Christian group at all? What if I told you that all of these members that is in this group, all of these three main members that is all in this group together, what if I told you that they wasn't real Christians? What if I told you that this group was in fact a cult? A cult that has been using this whole pandemic against everybody. A cult that profit all of this that is going on in the world. The one biggest thing that this group has been lying to you about that has been manipulating every single person is the vaccines. Now, this group wants to say that this vaccine is bad and it's against God. What if I told you that that was false? What if I told you that God never said that it was bad? What if I told you that everything that this group has said prior to the everything else is going on has been a lie. What if I told you that everything that they have ever told you was a lie? They are going to leave it in the hands of the employers, you know, companies, corporations, because especially restaurants and stuff, they have to keep the place, you know, safe. And that's what, that's what the issue is going to be called, the safety issue. 
hold on just one second. I have to pause it for just one second. Let me just get this straight. So you're mad because everyone wants to get safe, right? Everyone wants to keep safe. At first, you were mad because the government was going to try to make you take it, okay? And then when you figured out that they're leaving it to the companies, which is a great idea and a great thing to do, you're also mad because of some of the companies are trying to keep it safe? What? What? Uh, get your facts straight. I mean, at one moment, okay, you were mad at the government because they were going to make you take it and everything else. But, and then when you figured out that the government, you know, can't do that, which, you know, you honestly should be happy. You are mad because they left it to the employees and to these companies that wants to keep things safe. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry, had to say something about that. Uh, let's get back to it. Here's the thing. This is what gets me. They talk about hate speech, right? That you can't say anything that's hate speech. But yet, every time they say, well, if you didn't get your, your, your you know, you didn't get your, that means you're going to have to wear that mask. That's hate speech. And there you have it. He is saying that if you have ever said, hey, you need to wear your mask, it is hate speech to ever say it. And this media that's going out there and saying, hey, you need to take it or or, or you better wear your mask because you want to keep everyone safe, so you better wear it. He is saying that that is hate speech. Now, if you think that that's hate speech, then you don't know how anything going on with this whole <laughs> with this whole cult because that's not hate speech at all also derpy jack also thinks that the virus that everyone thinks that came from china is false he's thinking that it didn't come from china he thinks it's all false just like they did with the with the huan supposed this came from china the huan supposed this came from china now, Derpy Jack isn't really the uh, brightest or smartest guy uh, out there. Uh, he also says in this whole thing that if you wear a mask outside, that you will get beaten, that you will get attacked. Now, me personally, I have never seen that. I don't know, Derpy Jack, if you ever went outside or anything, at least where I'm from. But, uh... Here, you don't have to wear masks all that much anymore. Uh, there's places that's actually getting a lot better now if you actually looked outside and, you know, followed that's going on. But he's pretty much saying that, you know, because of this whole thing that's going on, that if you wear a mask, you will get beaten. You will get uh, crucified for wearing a freaking mask because you didn't get the vaccines or some crap like that. Um... I'm sorry to say this, Derpy, but uh, I don't think that's true at all. At least where I'm from, I don't think it's true. Because uh, I would go outside and you wouldn't actually see that. It's actually, surprisingly, getting a, a bit better each day that passes. Because Derpy Jack is the new media of uh, YouTube. He is a media of the media because he's also giving false information and also putting hate in the world. <laughs> which is the most stupid and funniest thing that he talks about the media and how they are given hate. But when Derpy Jack, it's the same exact thing. He is also putting hate out there. He is also making other people hate other people. He is also making other people hate other Christians. Like, uh, like, really? I mean, this is the same guy that's going out there telling other Christians because he took the vaccine that they should die, that they aren't themselves anymore, that everything that God has put has, you know, pretty much fallen, that God is disappointed in all these Christians for taking the vaccines. Not only that, but taking everything else into consideration that this guy is a freaking lunatic. But that is not the worst thing of it. Uh, this guy, Derpy Jack, also said in his little uh, video there that if you wear the mask, it's pretty much you're worshiping it. That he prays to God <laughs> to forgive him every time he wears a mask. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but God never said, hey, it's a sin to wear a mask. He never said to do any of that. I, and no one is actually worshiping it. Like, I don't know how much you actually think. <laughs> I don't know, like, why people follow this guy when he's a freaking lunatic. I mean, he is a old man, right? that is going around giving people false information, not only that, but telling people that if you wear a mask, it is a sin. 
that God himself said that it's a sin to wear a mask, but it's not. The same thing with this whole thing. Uh, he also thinks that this whole vaccine is a, uh, well, you're pretty much getting the mark. 666 mark on yourself whenever you take the vaccine, which isn't true at all. I mean, I don't know if you realize this, but how it works is that the Antichrist will come here and tell you, hey, I'm your God. If you don't believe it, you know, then you are going to die. If you believe in anything else, you are going to die. They haven't done this. Like, they haven't said, hey, uh, wear the vaccine or you die. No, like, that's not it at all. Like, I don't know how much this guy has actually done, but he's a freaking lunatic and crazy in the mind. And it, it's funny that people actually believe this guy and actually follow him with his bullcrap because, like I said, he uses the Bible and everything else at his own benefit. Uh, he, he takes things too far. And he takes the Bible and the verses into his own uh, little thing. And I understand that everybody understands the Bible differently. But this guy just goes a whole new thing. And it's just crazy. Also, he believes that uh, he's a speaker of God. That God comes to him and he's like, yes, I am. When that's that's not true at all. Even God said that uh, anybody that, you know, is over him doesn't. But, you know, that's fine. puppet for the boss. It was real simple, you know. And he, he'll respond to this video. He'll go, Billy, Billy. But again, they only respond to what they wanted because I just want to keep pushing the narrative. But Tim G is just a hand puppet for the boss. As you can see, time and time again, Billy has ordered me to do things. Billy has told me to do things. And from the beginning of it, he told me to go after these certain people. And Aaron, at the beginning of it, wasn't even there. Me and him wasn't ever that cool at the beginning of it. And if we still wasn't cool, I would still be doing the exact same thing. Because Billy, you are insane and you are a lunatic. And as far as all of your channels will be stopped, all of your channels will be gone, and you will be nothing but a memory, nothing but a bad dream. As far as all of your channels is concerned, they will all disappear, and no one would care. Your threats, your harassment, everything that you have ever done will all be in today. Today, you will all be just another bad memory and as far as Ness goes you are the worst out of all of them you have harassed you have threatened you have done everything that you claim that you don't like you claim that you do not dismiss but as far as everything else goes you do not care you have harassed other people you have harassed other people that is married you have done so much bull that it is a saying that people actually follow you because you hide behind your stream. You hide behind your whole cult, having them to come over here to me and threaten me and done all this other crap, especially to me and other people down here. You are the most pathetic person of all of them. And as far as your daughter goes, no one has ever threatened or done anything, said anything bad about her. Your group over there have done so much wrong over here than we have to you guys, but that will end. That will all end today.
everything that this group has ever said has been false, has been everything to cover their own butts in their own ignorance. But you know what? Let's give them a taste of their own medicine, why don't we? You know, they want to go out and saying, let's go and report the hate. Let's go and go after the hate. Let's do the exact same thing. I mean, they set the ground rules, so let's just play the game. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, if you did, then leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.